Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm so excited for you to be here. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the five tips you should know if you are a starting artist. So, these tips are based on my own experience on how to start and improve as an artist. So let's get started. So here we go. Tip number one, start now. If you're always waiting for that right timing, if you're always waiting, um, you don't feel like drawing or it's not the right time uh, to draw or you don't feel creative enough, that doesn't matter. What it matters is for you to start now. If you have a goal and you want to be an artist, you want to be an illustrator, you want to be a painter, you got to pursue that goal in for order to uh, make that goal happen, you gotta start now. If you start now, you're going to realize tomorrow that it was the best decision that you could ever make because your work is going to be improving every day. Tip number two, work with what you have and with purpose. This is a very tricky thing because we always um, dream about the best drawing tablet or the best um, art supplies for create or artwork but that's not really necessary to create art if you want to start drawing if you want to learn how to draw if you want to beca become an illustrator uh, the first thing you gotta do is to grab a piece of paper to grab a pen and start drawing if you don't know how if you don't know the basics go to youtube and there are many 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 youtubers that show this type of content for you to learn and for free so don't let yourself get by for the pretty things we see in social media like many illustrators has the ultimate ipad pro or the ultimate Huion tablet to draw. Tip number three, show it even if you hate it. I'm guilty of not showing my artwork because I hate it. I, I hate how the lines uh, look, I hate how the color or the shading or the lighting or everything about the work, so I decided not to show it. But that's a mistake because um, you can get, number one, some positive reviews from people uh, that you might not expect. You feel like your artwork is nothing and people will appreciate it or will um, give you an advice on how to improve it. If you don't like a piece of work that you have done it, um, you can always uh, do the exercise of redoing it. So if you redo this piece of art, you can show on your social media or anywhere you, anywhere you like the progress that you have made. The progress on the first drawing that you did and the second one that you did. And you can compare the evolution of your art. But try to redo old uh, artworks and see how it goes and look at your evolution. Be proud of it. So remember, tip number one start now tip number two work with what you have and work with purpose don't let anything to limit your artwork and tip number three show it even if you hate it so let's move on to tip number four so tip number four try it all and experience all this is a tip that goes that goes like very well to me because i have tried it all and experienced all in a good sense of way of art the thing that i mean by this is if you're doing analog which is old-fashioned drawing on sketchbooks and doing illustration in watercolors try every media that you have try watercolors try ink try pencil color you can get it to get a more realistic look and get it to live if you use different type of media there are many artists that use only one type of media. I like to mix them all. I like to mix uh, watercolors and color pencils and using ink, not only using one at a time. You can use two, three, whatever you like to give that special touch to your drawings. 
and on the other side I have tried digital as well like the drawing that you're seeing right now and I have tried many softwares and I have tried many mediums and that gives you experience in how to work with different materials and levels your artwork a little bit because you're not limited to only one type of media or only one type of software. I encourage you to learn as much as you can and it will it will pay off. I, I know it could be tedious, but it will pay off, I promise. So last but not least, tip number five. Copy, but be authentic. And by this, I mean not, I not encourage plagiarism. That's not what I'm trying to say but look for inspiration in other artists. Try to look up for artists that has the style that you want to learn. And if you're using a reference from an artist that you like, that you want to learn from, that's fine. If you want to do it exactly that, like the reference, that's fine as well because you're learning. What is not fine is to claim that artwork as yours. So if you take a reference, from an artist that you love or that you like, uh, that you want to learn from, you can take it, make it your own, and then upload it to social media and put also the, the reference that you use and tag the artist and let them know how they inspire you to create this new piece in base of their work. So that's it for today's video. I hope you like it. If you do, click the like button. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and activate the notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video. If you want to see more art, you can go and check out any of my social media or my Patreon page. So see you on the next one. Bye.